So we'll assume we got that. So, but one piece of software I've seen a lot of companies, and I'm really shocked how many companies don't have it, is a good piece of communication software. I've seen some people use Skype and they use email. You'd be amazed how many companies do not have a, a, a persistent chat capability in their systems. You'd think they all would have that something like a Slack, but they don't, right? And that is really one of the first things I push to get into a company's infrastructure is some way for the developers to communicate via chat, um, save the communications. You got a bug. It, it allows you to track everybody working on a bug. You can bring people from outside the organization or the team on an issue by inviting them to the chat. And there's stuff like Slack's a very good product. That's a cloud-based um, I learned about a new one called Mattermost, which is kind of like Slack, a little bit lighter on the thing. But the nice thing about Mattermost is you can install it on your internal servers and you can host it yourself. It's open source code. Um, so if you have a lot of security restrictions and all that, at least it'll be inside your firewall or Slack, which is cloud based. And so now you need a connection through your firewall to get to it. Uh, ideally, you'd be able to put attachments on these things. I've seen a lot of places where they can't. You got to put rules and try to figure out what to do that. But you really need a good communication tool for the people to talk. Some people will tell you, can't they just turn around and talk to each other all day? Have you seen what goes on in the world today? Everybody's on their, you know, their little iPads. They got their, you know, I got my phone. You know, they're on their phones chatting away with their friends and all that. Uh, you need this in the office too. So having a chat, they like it. They like putting emojis. One guy was telling me his group, they they had this 200 and some odd custom emojis. They enjoy it. So old school would be like, go turn around and talk to someone. Reality is you need a communication tool that maintains and does a persistent chat so that you don't have to have 50 million windows open all day long because that's the one of the things that Skype doesn't do very well is that it drops the communication that's cluttered. Yeah, you can tie it out. Look, yeah, you can do that, but it misses lots of communication. When you have a persistent chat program, it doesn't miss anything and it stays there. And if you have to invite, what I like about it is if you invite somebody on, they can read up and get up to speed on all the things everybody's done to try to fix the problem or what's going on. Plus it's great for when you're, upload software and hey i need help you know it, it's it's just it just helps like you know it pops up hey i need someone to do a code review and we'll talk about that later you know people can hop on and do that i've used slack many places but i'm telling you that's like first soft piece of software that i search around as an agile coach in the organization do you have this capability our place and if you have it I get it implemented every day. I'm actually doing it now with like 450 people. I'm out there pinging them, get on this. They're like, I don't know, I don't want to do it. But I'm telling you, it will help and people like it because it is so much like chatting on your phone. Okay. <laughs> just get it, just get, get with it. Right. So that they need. So good morning. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope all is doing well. You can see it's light out. It's about 7.51. I'll have to write that down. 7.51. Late. You know what? If I don't do this at 5 a.m., it ain't going to happen until later because my kids are loud. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 